So in this video I will tell you a little bit about rejection criteria on round slings. Um, and we start off collected a few slings which are not okay. The first one looks very good in terms of the label, uh, no cuts, but it got a big knot on it. And this knot is someone who's probably tried to shorten it a little bit and then made a lift with it. It's solid knot. What happens in this is that the fibers inside here generates heat when it slides together. So it destroys the load carrying core inside. So this is something that would be immediately put out of service. This is a neat little sling. Looks good, apart from the label is missing. If you haven't got the label, you can check that, what kind of working load, the length and anything, and meeting the standards. So uh, this is also something that would be put out of service directly. Next sling. Looks quite good. Apart from this, it cuts in the cover. That means that the load carrying core inside looks good. But the thing is, the load carrying core can move inside this cover. And um, that means that even if it looks good here, the cut might be somewhere here where you can't see it. So as soon as the cover is broken somewhere, that also indicates that it could be something with the core. So put it out of service. This is a very dirty sling. Chemicals and textiles doesn't really match. Usually this would be oil, I guess, so I will put this out of service directly. Next sling. Let's see what's wrong in this one. Here I can see something. Hope you can see that. It's small holes, look like burnt holes. Probably from welding and welding sparks coming onto it. When heat comes like this through the cover, it also penetrates and gives the load carrying core to melt together. So I will put this out of service as well. Last one. Yeah. Here you have it. As you can see, it's heat generated. I can see it here as well. Uh, probably from sliding when lifting or something like that. When it's heat here, it means inside as well, heat, textiles has come to end or the fiber has come together, which means I put it out of service directly. What I want to say with also, I put all these things out of service. That doesn't mean that I need to throw them away directly. I can give them to a competent person who do the examination and decide whether it can be fixed or if you should actually cut them in pieces and throw them away. So remember, before each use, do an inspection and see if you find any damages or any other defects, put them out of service to get a safe workplace. Don't miss the next Lifting Know-How video coming soon.